people in the film industry not all are you know privileged yeah uh, people are poor also in uh, film families people come from humble uh, backgrounds also if they are attached um, today the film industry is different because there's a lot of corporatization yeah. in the business today but that time uh, people would sell their homes to just release a film producers were were left on the roads because uh, like they didn't have money to make another film and uh, so many times uh, there have been families that have been destroyed and come on the streets because uh, there was no other means and uh, our film industry is not uh, really comprising only of 5 to 10 stars or 5 to 10 filmmakers our film industry is a in industry that has thousands of people who depending work in the industry yeah. depending on the work that is being churned out day in and day out and there are a lot of people who are trying to make ends meet uh being from a film family always does not really speak of any you know privilege um at the time that i came into the industry i think salim uncle who saw me uh didn't take me because i'm somebody's daughter or somebody's niece but i was taken because he thought that i probably had the um uh spark to probably be able to face the camera face the camera and uh, i did have to give an audition and uh, the director and the dop uh like the way i looked and i think salim uncle was confident enough and i think all actors who make it big in the industry are all newcomers when they start off and they start somewhere and uh, it was the same case with me that i started and i worked my um uh i've worked on myself i worked very hard throughout my career and i'm happy that uh, today i have a uh, fans who support me through thick and thin You know, like you I, yeah, absolutely always i am very proud um, as an indian as a bengali uh, that you come from that generation also as a as a 90s kid you know because yeah. we've lived through you guys on screen um, i want to ask you that you know the choices that you made back then yeah they were revolutionary today वो बोलते हैं ना एक अंजू महेंद्र का एक डायलॉग था डर्टी पिक्चर में कि आज जो तुम कर रही हो वो बगावत है कल को इसी को लोग आजादी कहेंगे यू हैव डन फिल्म्स लाइक हेराम राजा की आएगी बारात इवन अ बादल एन अ बिच्छू व्हिच वाज सपोजेडली गोइंग टू बी अ इट वी डिडंट हैव विमेन एक्ट डूइंग एक्शन एट दैट पॉइंट एंड यू डिड दैट इन दोस फिल्म्स यू नो सम ऑफ देम डिडंट वर्क बट इट प्रॉपर्ड यू इन अ वे whether any before you know that big um, move happened and they were like i remember that there were three uh, back to back uh, award seasons where you were the best actor best critics actor everything <laughs> so before that industry industry opening up to that idea of rani mukherjee were there days where the poor tha na ki ye movie chalti hai ki nahi chalti were there low days where which you had to battle um of course i think as an actor i would be lying and saying that I'm not greedy for adulation. Yeah. Um of course I am because as an actor that's that's what I live for that when I sign a film or when I'm doing a film or when I'm performing I want the audiences to give me a thumbs up. I want my audience my fans to say that I did justice to the role and that if I've done a comedy film I want them to laugh their guts out. If I've done an emotional films I want them to cry so much that they have tissue papers lying around them. um so when i'm doing a dancing film i want them to dance on top of the seat and enjoy you know and if i'm doing action they should feel that i've done justice to that as well Absolutely. so for me i think um, doing films is not a, just an ordinary uh, just a profession that i'm going and doing my job it's also something that i'm responsible towards my fans that i need to uh, be able to do my very best to the best of my ability to make my audience believe that i'm that character and uh, that's what i love about the work that i've done because i like to be versatile 